Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Lacrosse Thunder e-bike. So yeah, this company called me up and they said, we want you to review our e-bike. And I was like, oh God, here we go. Another e-bike that's manufactured in China. It's probably going to suck. However, not the case at all. This bike is stuffed with so many cool features. It's super comfortable to ride and it performs very, very well and does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. So first things first. As you can tell, this is a big boy bike. It is a very large frame, 26 by four inch tires. I'm gonna assume that these tires are as big as your dirt bike. Uh, so yeah, obviously you can take this off-roading. It has full suspension. In the front, you have hydraulic forks and both sides can be fully adjusted. And then it also has a rear hydraulic shock. Uh, that absorbs the bumps very, very well. So full suspension e-bike, check. 26 by four inch tires, check. As far as the brakes are concerned, these are hydraulic as well. So you see what I mean? All the components are super high quality. Besides that, uh, you can use this bike as a cargo bike because this has rear capacity. So uh, essentially, you can put a milk crate back here or something that you can buy off of Amazon, strap it to the rear here, and you can go get groceries or if you if you want, you can become a delivery driver with this thing. That makes it kind of like the SUV of e-bikes, doesn't it? As far as powering this bike is concerned, it has a 750 watt motor in the rear. That's pretty typical. Um, well, typical is 700, but this one's 750 and you can really, really tell the difference when you're actually on it. That's because it's equipped with a 25 amp controller. Most bikes are equipped with 700 watt motors and a 20 amp controller. And when you're giving a throttle, it's not as playful as something like a 25 amp along with a 750 watt motor. You can really tell the difference because I've reviewed enough of these by now to know. As far as uh, throttle, two different ways of having throttle on this bike, just like any other e-bike these days. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't like the half-twist throttle on this bike, but it does come with a half-twist throttle. I like the full throttle that you would get like a motorcycle. Regardless, this is a super comfortable place to put your hand because uh, the wide grip area here is perfect for your palm when you're resting on it. And then you simply use your index finger and your thumb to use the throttle. If you, if you wanted to. Otherwise, you don't have to use this. You can simply pedal assist. The Shimano gear shifter, you can put it up to level, you can put it up to gear seven, and then it'll take you all the way up to 28 miles an hour. Of course, it has pedal assist. I don't have to tell you that. You probably know that by now. But uh, as far as the LCD screen, very clear, very legible. I had this bike uh, topped up at 100% and I've ridden it 19 miles so far. So yeah, this is not a first ride. I, I wanted to get to know the bike before I actually reviewed it that's why I have 19 miles worth of experience to say this is the best bike I've ever ridden and I'm not lying about that and um, and so at the moment we have a three quarter three quarters of the battery left according to the energy bar it has a removable 20 amp hour battery that is made by LG and the great thing about this is that it's fully UL certified so you don't have to worry about your house burning down great so I just put this thing on pedal assist number five <laughs> And uh, we're in this beautiful park. So let's go ahead and ride it for a little bit. As far as the off-road capabilities of the spike is concerned, Crass is really, really not off-road. But it's a pretty good indicator of what it would be like in somewhere a bit rougher. As I mentioned before, smooth, very, very, very smooth, supple ride. The hydraulic front and rear shocks makes a massive difference on this bike. I've ridden about 20 of these e-bikes by now, so I kind of have a gauge of what's good and what's not. So here we are on a dirt path. So as far as traction is concerned, you got knobby tires, 26 by four knobby, thick, super, super thick tires. So traction, not a problem at all. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a big boy bike. So if you're anywhere between 5'10 to six foot, five seven whatever who cares it doesn't matter how tall you are you can ride this bike very very comfortably um, the distance from where I'm sitting to the handlebars are pretty lengthy so it's not gonna feel like you're like right here um, there are a lot of bikes that I've ridden that supposedly they're for like larger people and you can see it in their description I doubt that the Chinese are gonna put these bikes on people and measure them out they just put those numbers and figures there and hope that people believe them but take it from me <laughs> this is a large bike and it's meant for larger people but that being said I'm not a tall guy and I'm not heavy either 
and it fits me fine and I've done 20 miles on it so far so good I like it and it fits me very well so it should not be a problem for you either as far as pedaling the bike is concerned let's go ahead and put this in the highest gear now I'm in gear number seven 20 8.4 miles an hour. I've never seen it go past 28 miles an hour. So 28 is the maximum. 28 miles an hour on a bike feels damn fast. And if you ever take it up to 28 miles an hour, I doubt you'll be able to sustain that speed for more than 30 seconds because of traffic, red lights, stop signs, people. Unless you're uh, unless you're on a GTA server, <laughs> then in that case it wouldn't matter, would it? You just run people over left and right. All right, so. I'm going to purposely take this bike off-road. Let's see here. There we go. There's some really, really... There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of bumps here, a lot of dirt, pebbles, rocks, whatever. Yeah, so this, this is a good measure of how the bike handles. You can hear my voice if it's going in and out, if it's getting choppy or not. And, um, yeah, this, this bike, man, it, it takes anything you throw at it. That's what I love. You see this hill right here? We're going to go up this hill because I want to test out what the hill climb capability of this bike is. Very curious to know what the 750 watt motor, 750 watt motor is capable of. Hope cars don't run me over. Please don't. I don't make that much money off these YouTube videos. Can't afford hospital bills. Please don't hit me. <laughs> All right. 17 miles an hour. 16 miles an hour. Pure pure power no pedal assist i'll kick it up to pedal assist if i feel like it's not going to go but damn 15.5 15.6 it's consistent energy bar has gone down a little less than half um a little less than 50 percent but i think that it'll go back up as soon as we climb back down this hill it's a lithium battery and that's what usually happens to lithium but wow i am impressed this is a steep ass hill and it's doing 16 miles an hour just on pure power and I'm not even using pedal assist. Uh, we're on PAS5. I don't really think that matters because we're using uh, pure power at the moment. But let's go ahead and kick it up to pedal assist. Let's see if we can go faster than 15 miles an hour. 15.9, 16.3, 16.58, 16.9, 17, 17.5, 17.6 wow guys like i said this bike with a 25 amp controller and 750 watts yeah baby it's definitely a performer let's go ahead and make a u-turn and go back down that hill and regain that juice that we lost So let's see what it'll do just coasting down this hill. I'm fairly confident because of the beefy 26 inch tires that we're not gonna lose traction. But we're doing 31 miles an hour. 33, 34, 37, 36, 37, 38, holy shit. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna slow down. <laughs> I do 180 miles an hour on my RSV4 and on an e-bike I get to 30 whatever miles per hour and I'm like holy shit. Yeah, so that's what I mean guys. On a, on a bicycle to, to go over 30 miles an hour is pretty sketch. Anyway, as I mentioned before, thoroughly impressed with that hill climb test. On normal circumstances, uh, the bikes that I test out on those kind of hills, they're like at 8 miles an hour and huffing and puffing hills like that and so this is super impressive guys as far as pedal assist is concerned no dead spots on the pedal assist and unlike other bikes which i mentioned in my previous videos not on this channel but my on my tech channel sometimes when you're pedaling with pedal assist you you just keep pedaling and there's no power and you're like WTF man where's the power but on this it's immediate like as soon as you start pedaling you get power and it just kind of carries you along wafts away um, currently just pedaling that's all I'm doing um, now let's just say hypothetically speaking let's just say that 
you're riding about 100 miles. Obviously, if you're riding 100 miles, depending on where you're going, you will run out of juice. Can you, hypothetically speaking, run this bike without juice? Let's go ahead and turn it off. Right now, I got no juice. So, we're going to get off this bike. We're going to get back on it. So I can show you if this bike is able to be pedaled without having to lose my breath. So, now this is pure pedal. I'm going to go down a notch on my gear. So now I'm in gear number two. And it feels like a normal bike. Look at that. There's a little hill coming up. And I'm going to go up this hill and see if it's possible. No pedal assist, no power, nothing. The bike is turned off and I'm pedaling. So listen for my breath. If you hear me breathing hard, that means I'm struggling, okay? <laughs> I'm going to count to I'm going to count to 20 while I go up this hill. I want you to listen to my breath. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 there we go got up that hill okay well uh, the bike is about 80 pounds right 86 pounds to be exact that's according to their website I don't know if I believe it I think it's a little bit more than that but it does have an aluminum frame so let's just give it the benefit of the doubt and say it does weigh 86 pounds so at 86 pounds you're riding this bike the whole day and then suddenly you run out of power what do you do well I just showed you that going up a slight hill it's still possible if you put it in a lower gear without power so what does that tell us that tells us that this bike is just like a regular bike it doesn't really really take that much more effort to ride this bike than it does something without a battery even though it's a big boy 26 inch tire 26 inch rim fat tire e-bike that weighs over 80 pounds so at the beginning of this video when I told you guys that I was super impressed with this bike hopefully now you understand where I'm coming from and why I decided to review it on this channel because I think this is a really quality product and it probably deserves a little bit of your attention if you're looking for e-bikes on sale right now for $14.99 and if you guys are as impressed as I am with this bike I'll include a link down below anyway leave a comment and I'll check you guys on the next episode peace